Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the most fabulous Xenomorph NECA has made. And by fabulous, I mean it is very bright pink and like a fuchsia? Let's go with fuchsia mauve, maybe. It's surprisingly vibrant, like more than I ever anticipated a pink Xenomorph to be. And so that's what this is. This is the arcade version of the Alien from, I guess the arcade game was called Aliens. Which, I guess, is that the second movie? I don't know, you guys know I'm not up on my uh, my alien stuff. But anyway, this figure, it's pretty cool for what it is, so uh, I guess let's just go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands, now I do have his knees bent just a little bit, because I don't think you're ever going to stand him completely upright. He stands just about 9 inches, probably a little bit shorter than that right now with the bend, which makes him about 22 centimeters, 22 and a half. So he's definitely got a lot of size, a lot of height, and he's very lanky. So it is what you would expect. As far as I can tell, it's at least mostly just a repaint. Uh, there might be a couple of unique bits, but I'm not 100% sure, and I don't have the other ones to check right now. Uh, but it, I have to say the pink and purple combo, it is done mostly really well. There is some over painting here and there, but I think that's intentional, like you can see right here. There's a little bit of pink on this part and like right here. It's kind of like that almost everywhere. So I'm thinking it's supposed to be shading, like video game style shading. That's my guess. There's not any real shading anywhere else. There's like the tiniest bit of a wash in some of the purple spots, but it's not readily apparent in most cases. But I have to say, it does look really cool. This will easily be the most vibrant figure you have on your display shelf. I have never seen anything quite this vibrant, especially in this color. Now here's the thing, I uh, I don't know if it's showing up completely on camera, I think the bright lights might be kind of washing it out, but it is very, very saturate, saturated, high saturation, and that's the thing that stands out the most. And what makes it stand out even more is the fact that they have the black around the teeth, which looks really, really cool. Now the jaw on this one seems to be snapped shut. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, but it takes a lot of force to open it. So, I don't know, that's not really a problem, but be aware of that. And then the inner jaw is black with white teeth also, and it of course does come out. So that's pretty cool, it does look really nice up against the bright pink and the uh, fuchsia purple. So that's pretty cool. Now, he does have some accessories. We have a pink uh, chest burster, is that what they're called? It's not anywhere near as saturated, it is more along the lines of the uh, egg. Is that That's an egg, which we also have, and it's the same color pink with video game style paint job on it, nicely sculpted, painted well enough. And then we have a video game style green face hugger, with, which does have a bendable tail also. Both of them do, the uh, chest burster and the face hugger both have bendy tails. So there's pretty nice accessories. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can give a Xenomorph in terms of accessories, so that's okay. Now in terms of this guy, he doesn't have uh, the tightest of joints. A lot of his joints are fairly loose. The head, I know on this model has been a little bit of a problem before and it is again except it's only on one of the ball pegs so one peg is loose but the other one will hold the poses no problem so it's a double ball peg and so that kind of does make up for it it's not a terrible situation it could definitely be better but you can still get him to pose around really well without really any issue it's just going to be a wiggly at that pose which to me isn't that big of a deal it would be nicer if it wasn't the case but it's not really a problem the shoulders have really good range it's just your standard swivel hinge which is the same thing as a ball hinge except there's no bicep swivel so you have your full range really no issues at all with the shoulder i'm very happy about that they're not loose at all the elbows have a swivel at the top and the bottom and then it is a double joint and these are the joints that start to get a little bit iffy now the arms aren't that much of a problem but the swivels or i guess i should say the hinges aren't the swivels aren't that tight but they're not that loose like he's not super floppy so i guess that's okay then you do have another swivel and a hinge for the wrist right here, and another hinge for the fingers. And it's mirrored on the other side, even though the sculpt is a little bit different. Same kind of issues. It's not incredibly floppy, but it is a little bit loose. Same thing is true of the torso. This one does have really good range. I remember commenting on that last time I reviewed a guy on this mold. And it works very nicely, but it is a little bit floppy it's not terrible but uh like it's most likely going to hold the pose unless you lean them all the way forward and then even then it doesn't really want to go too it's not well i guess it depends where you have him posed so it could be a problem but if he's standing up you should be okay for the hips this is a soft piece for the crotch so you should be able to get pretty good range out of them let's see i haven't tried it yet on this guy 
yeah, they go pretty much all the way out to the side, so no problems there. And then going forward, this soft piece is not as soft as I would like, but it's probably, I don't know, it's probably enough. That's almost 90 degrees, so that's okay. And then you do have your thigh swivel, which is pretty loose. For the knees, we have a swivel in the top of the knee, which also has a hinge, and then just a secondary hinge right here. So pretty good range, nothing that's too loose for the knees. For the ankle, it's a ball peg, definitely not that tight. It's not that loose, but I have had this guy fall over on me, even though he was balanced, so uh, be careful. I mean, he wasn't perfectly balanced, but this was loose enough that it gave way to the balancing that I had previously done, if that makes any sense. It's not terrible. You do get good range out of it, but it is not that tight. And then we have a toe hinge, which is pretty good. It's fairly tight when you move it up, so that's fine. It works very nicely. It does go down, but that doesn't really matter. And of course, he does have his usual bendy tail with a swivel at the base. And the tail is actually painted surprisingly well and doesn't really look like the paint's going to crack too much from the bending. So that's pretty good. I do wish that the uh, paint kind of continued up for the vertebrae there, but it's not a deal breaker, I guess, because I don't have any idea what it's supposed to look like officially. And I'm guessing it doesn't have that detail at all in the game anyway. So not really a big deal, but yep, yeah, does have a good bendy tail and a decent paint job. Overall, it's pretty good. I mean, if you were interested in collecting this in the first place, then you're probably going to be aware of these looseness issues that sometimes these xenomorphs have, and you're going to want to get it anyway. And I have to tell you, the paint job does look good. Definitely good enough. It's going to stand out and look nice, so go ahead and grab it. For a $20 figure, it'll do, and uh, I think you guys are probably going to like it if you're collecting this line. If you're not, this is not an entry one. You don't want to grab this as your first one unless you really like bright pink xenomorphs because it's not the most impressive one that they've ever released. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.